Hey guys, EA Game Changers gave me the opportunity to play around with Discover University ahead of its release this week. So I was given a copy to be clear. I don't have a huge review ready to go yet, but I thought I'd give you some idea what the gameplay is like and share some tips and little things I wish I had known ahead of time. Let me know what you think of all this as this video is a little different. First, it's important to actually prepare your sim for applying. You can jump straight in if you don't care, but if you want to apply for a distinguished degree or go to a particular university for that degree, you need to have some skills. See, everyone starts with a small chance of being accepted, but that's boosted by having an A in high school. And it goes up based on a variety of skill levels. So when you apply, you're applying for every school and degree at once. And what they approve is what you can take. In this case, I leveled some skills using books and got accepted into the Distinguished Physics degree program. Just what I was aiming for. I've listed out all the skills that help with the different courses on my site and we'll link to that in the description. We also have the career level you'll start at if you take this or that degree. Next up, you need to know about financial aid. You can take student loans to cover everything, pay out of pocket, or get scholarships which can cover a big chunk of the cost. Plus, you can have more than one if you get a little lucky. Scholarships can be based on all kinds of things, like your sim being too poor or having participated in scouts. Skills benefiting you for scholarships is a thing that happens, but you need at least level three to have it come up and don't get high chances until level 5. You can have multiple scholarships, so looking into those that overlap with the degree you want can be really helpful. So, after about 48 hours when the mailman comes, you should have an acceptance letter if you've applied. You'll know if you got into any distinguished degree programs and separately get the scholarships from the mailbox. Scholarships do appear in your Sims inventory. From now on, you have about a week to sign up for university. You can sign up using the mailbox and maybe the computer. Brightchester is a university for the arts, while Foxbury Institute is more for technology and science. They both have the same degrees, but they will have distinguished degrees in their specialty, and those are harder to get into. If you fail to get a distinguished writing degree acceptance, you can take a regular degree from the opposite school. I'm sad to say that Foxbury is not what I wanted. While it's a technical school and offers some great degrees, I hate its layout for dorm residents with a passion. It's extremely annoying watching Sims go up and down stairs all the time and never getting to use the bike for long distances. This may not be such a big problem depending where you live on campus, but my sim had a really annoying route from the dorm. After one week, you can reapply if your sim gained more skills and you'd like to take another stab at getting into that distinguished degree program. After one week, you can reapply if your sim gained more skills and you'd like to take another stab at getting into that distinguished program. Your original application will be open, but you can spend another 75 simoleons to do it over and try to get a better deal. Scholarships also last at least a week. Next tip, we have to sign up and can take up to four classes. Based on my experience, with four classes, you barely have time to do anything extracurricular during the week. This assumes you're going for an A and doing your homework every time. Just one class less gives you a lot more free time. Electives count toward your 12 courses needed to graduate, so why not take research and debate as an elective? Unfortunately, it's not always there, but you could just level this up before you ever go. It's a new skill in this pack and actually gives you an ability to complete homework faster by the third level. This will help a lot toward freeing up some time. When you move into the dorm, for some damned reason, a sim joins your household and not as an NPC. They put a sim in two of the dorms while the others are empty. It's annoying as this sim you've probably never met and you still have full control. So if you were planning to play alone like me, you now have an annoyance to deal with because of this odd design choice. So just nuke the sim, removing them from your household so you can carry on enjoying your stay. On that note, let's say that people who prepare dorms ahead of time will have a better experience. 
You can do this from managed worlds before you ever move in. My life in the dorm sucked because my microwave sucked. Putting a small cooking area in the dorm helped a lot, though you can't use a stove. I used bb.enable free build to do this and didn't feel bad at all because to me it should have been there from the get go. Also delete most if not all of the radios. They will potentially drive you nuts with zero quiet ever. Roommate shenanigans are fine with me, I just don't like the fact I have to hear two of these things going on at any one time. So like I said, with four classes and needing to do homework for each class and trying to keep my sim happy, you gotta really work on managing time. Bring up the careers tab and you'll see the sloppy means of assessing your situation in university. Note that you can drag this upward to see more so that you don't have to scroll. Because there's always another class soon, I found I almost always had it open. Do your homework for classes that are coming sooner, of course, and try to keep needs as high as possible. Having a good routine is key. If you want to bury your sim in work, start on a Sunday for university. Your term should end on Friday and you'll have those five days to get all the homework and finals completed. If you want an easier ride, start midweek and you'll have two extra days and it'll stay this way throughout if you re-enroll immediately. Something nice about this is with three classes you can actually enjoy the campus life some, take part in other activities and make friends. I think the designers had three classes in mind based on the workload. No matter what degree you're in, it appear that focused is the only mood that gives you a boost to performance when attending class. So finding a way you can regularly get focused before class is a good idea if you want to maintain a 4.0 GPA. There isn't a button to go to class until the class is already in session, which is an oversight in my opinion. I'd like to be able to push it when I want so that they can get there on time. Now, your sim will make an attempt to autonomously go there, but you don't want to accidentally cancel it as I did a few times. Otherwise, you have to manually click to walk near the class building and hope it's the right one. I had two separate buildings at Foxbury. When your sim is actually in class, you can use work tones just like you would with a career. Click the button on the top right of your sim's portrait and use either actively listen for base performance but less fun drain or the take notes option for increased performance overall. You may be happy to know that in my world the mermaids from Island Living compete in robot competitions. Mermaids and robotics are a natural fit, just like Malcolm Landgrab and Wizardry. Bella Goth and other townies may visit your dorm from time to time. I'm sorry to say that most of my dorm mates were NPCs I'd never seen before or talked to, but that's incredibly boring. These familiar faces are all around everywhere I go. Those same sims always being there keeps things feeling fresh. <clears throat> you can check in with professors to see how you're doing in that class. Honestly, the devs probably should have made this one interaction on computer that's super easy to do because checking each of them individually is a pain. Thankfully, they did put in a version of this interaction on the phone, which will check all of them with one click. So there's a big tip. On the computer, it's a few menus deep and becomes a lot of clicking. Regardless, they'll give you some idea how grades are going so that you know where to direct your efforts in terms of studying. Well, let's get into how grades work. When you're studying or doing homework and turning that in, you're slowly building up a meter that gives your sim their final grade. It seems to be a pretty simple system. You get a bulk of points for your final project and that will help ensure you get an A along with attending class and finishing your homework before each class. Every class has one of three things, either a final exam, which is where the study interaction comes in on the computer, or it could have a term paper. When you finish a term paper, you're probably not done yet as you need to head into the menus and look at the quality of it. Using the edit ability on this work will result in a quality improvement. If you get a high mark, it's safe to turn it in. 
Presentations are done with the presentation board. You need to finish it, then can ask other Sims for feedback and finally refine it, then practice the presentation. This process takes a while, but it's not too bad. When it's done, you can put the board back in your inventory and use it to deliver the presentation on weekdays during business hours. It's possible to get to the point where your sim is having way too many microwave meals and they begin to get uncomfortable all the time from poor nutrition. This has no timer and can only be fixed with a proper meal. Thankfully, the snacks at Pepper's Pub counts as real food, so you can do this once every few days to prevent that. You could also go into build mode and give this lot the study spot trait so that it becomes better for doing homework. Just depends if you feel like that's cheating and whether you care. So we established that there are both regular and distinguished degrees, but you can also graduate with honors if your GPA is higher than 3.9. This means there are kind of four variants, regular or distinguished and with and without honors. Getting distinguished with honors does take some work, especially if you take a very heavy class load. These degrees do differ, with the Distinguished with Honors giving the most boost. You should know that if you couldn't get into a good program, that the regular with honors is almost as good as a normal Distinguished in terms of bonuses. On the last day of class on the last semester, your sim will graduate, which is just a rabbit hole. You'll now have the opportunity to take advantage of that degree. See, the career panel changes to where you can pick a branch instead of the base level. But you can also take that base level, the starter career. Picking either the branch or the first level of a career, you will get faster performance gains, faster pay time off generation, and more cash. You can cheat in a degree if you like. I have the cheats for individual degrees up on the site, and I'll link to that too. Overall, I have to say it was an okay experience in terms of managing my time, keeping me on my toes with four classes, but with some shortcomings. I did feel challenged at times. But the career panel being used for tracking the schedule is sloppy given we already have a calendar with seasons. The only time the menu was closed was on weekends because I didn't have class. I don't understand why they didn't just show how we're doing on the careers panel, like our general performance or letter grade we can see improving. It feels like some artificial difficulty because it's leaving you in the dark and forcing you to write in to be told how you're doing. So that it'll be a surprise when you get an A. The reason I say this is that there was never a point in my university attendance that I didn't know if I was doing poorly in a class or rocking in another. I always knew. My comments on tip number 16, the familiar faces bit, was definitely sarcasm. It takes me out of the game to run into mermaids here on campus. I guess Sims takes place in one little city with wildly different looking suburbs around it because how the heck is this happening otherwise? One last real negative. During my play, I had a lot of frustration with roommates playing music. Then when I took that away, they started with the violins. It was aggravating to be constantly hearing noise when I'm used to playing small families. A big problem is, yeah, the music sounds awful on speed three even when the pitch is matched. So you can go into options and disable match music to game speed so it's always on normal, even in speed three. This should be default. Regardless, what it comes down to is players who want a peaceful experience probably just shouldn't be in a dorm. But I'll be curious what people who are excited for dorms have to say when they play this and experience the chaos. I know some of you want it and I understand that. Brightchester is beautiful, so this isn't a negative, but my footage is crisp and bright outdoors only because I disabled seasons. The game does not look good in cloudy conditions, and hearing this type of weather would be frequent there, I knew my footage would be even worse covering rabbit holes in the dark. It's already disadvantages to have rabbit holes as the main activity, harder to get good footage, worse when it's cloudy. But with seasons off, the town is cheery and bright and I love the look, just not always the layout of the Foxbury campus. There's a lot of stuff I didn't yet explore. The pack has the core school system, but it has a lot of side attractions like the two new skills, three new careers. There's also the university organizations and secret society. 
You can also go on a scholarship and have a side job as a soccer player or esports gamer. So there is a good deal of content here, but how much of its quality remains to be seen. Though I want to say at least engineer and robotics look like they have a lot to them. There's definitely a lot more to cover here than in Island Living or Realm of Magic, and this is why hardly anyone has a proper review that covers everything yet. That is definitely a good thing. We didn't get a lot of time with the pack, and the nature of career coverage is that when you play legitimately, it takes time to get through those weeks, and you're trying to get an A so you don't do much other than schoolwork. You can support us on Patreon if you like my work. Just a buck or so helps a lot and makes me less reliant on ads. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope this was possibly helpful to some of you in deciding if you'll want to buy Discover University. It's got a volume of content but leans heavily on the school system we looked at here. Have a nice weekend and if you do buy it, I hope you enjoy it.